Hello YouTube world, this is Logic Crazy, and in this tutorial I want to focus on how to publish your Java program. Now, the first thing I want to point out is take uh, any program you have and if you click on the clean and build project, then is you will see a bunch of code coming out and hopefully the build is successful. If you have any errors in any of your classes in your programs, uh, the compiler will not complete. Even if you had uh, a method that was never called, let's say alpha beta was never called in the program, but it had an error in it, it still would not compile. So uh, make sure you're bug free and it builds it. Once that is done, and this is obviously assuming you have a user interface that works correctly. So for instance, when I run my program, uh, there's a whole user interface and stuff. Um, and assuming you have set that up correctly, there are ways to set up wrongly so that this doesn't work. But uh, follow my tutorials to see how to do that. Um, what you then go to is your uh, the place wherever you store all these projects. All the projects here on the side, that you store, uh, open that folder. Uh, for me, it's in Documents, NetBeans, Projects, and then in this example, it was a chess tutorial. And then uh, your, if you go under the SRC file for scripts, I believe, uh, you'll find the three classes that are there, and they're stored in text format file. Um, but if you go to dist, probably for distribution, uh, you will see now a chess tutorial dot jar. Now, um, it doesn't seem, at least on my computer, to always uh, work when it's in this default disk folder, but uh, that could just be me. Um, you'll notice now that there are no uh, chess pieces on this board, whereas when I had run it before, there were pieces. So that is another thing that you need to watch for. And the reason for this is chess pieces was grabbed from, you put resources such as a, a picture and stuff uh, in the chess tutorial folder, if that is the name of your project, in the project folder. But now that it is uh, stored and compiled in a jar file, you have to place it in the same folder as the jar file. So now when I run it, there you go. There are all the pieces being displayed. And so that is what you need to do um, for resources. And one other thing that I should mention is that when I run this particular one and I allow the computer to make a move, I won't wait for it, but I will say that this is a chess program or anything that uh, could be time sensitive. You want it to compile very, run things very quickly. Uh, need to be modified. Now in this example it actually made the move fairly quickly and that is because uh, it, uh, I've already changed settings, but uh, normally when you run an uh, intensive program that runs through thousands of lines of code, you want to speed it up. And the problem is when you com first compile it, it will be very slow because uh, it, much slower than if it were running straight for, from NetBeans. And that is because when it compiles it, it gives the program very little memory to work with. So basically, when it thinks of all these lines of code, it needs memory to store that information in. And when it's given very little, it's always moving memory and reorganizing and things like that internally. And so you have to give it uh, more memory. And the way that we do this, if you have problems with your... So basically... The symptom I'm discussing is it runs fast in NetBeans, but it runs slow as a jar file. The way you fix that, go to plugin plugins.netbeans.org, click on plugins at the top, and then we will go to, let's see, the catalog is loading here at the bottom. There we go and filter by name. You can get all sorts of plugins or basically add-ons to NetBeans, but uh, uh, start up is what I will uh, start typing, and it sorts 
and we get NetBeans Startup Settings. Now what you do, download this Startup Settings. Uh, it'll just be a tiny little file, um, just a couple kilobytes or something. Then go to NetBeans, go to Tools, Options, go to Miscellaneous on the top, um, oh, wait, wrong one. My apologies. Go to plugins. Sorry, under the tools in the menu bar, go to plugins. I was getting ahead of myself there. Now go to downloaded and click add plugins. Downloaded, add plugins. And then go to your download folder, wherever that file is stored. Grab that uh, NetBeans thing. It'll be a .nbm extension. Um, and click open and then go through the settings and click install. And once it's installed, you have to restart your NetBeans thing. So pause the video if you need to do that now. All right, once that is finished, you will have successfully installed it. Then you go to options. Go to miscellaneous and you should see a new tab that did not exist before and that is startup settings. These are things that uh, will happen at the startup and basically these first or uh, the second, third, and fourth item, this XSS, XMS, and, uh, and the permanent size uh, variables, I believe by default they're at two megabytes or something very small. I've changed them to the equivalent of one gig. Um, you can also change this to G. Um, so instead of uh, 1024 M for megabytes, you can change it to one G for gigabytes. Capital or lowercase doesn't matter. So you just click on that and edit it. And, um, and then your program will be given more memory. Now if you give it too much memory that's not necessary, um, that's not advised either. So I've given it a gig, which is uh, quite generous, I thought. Um, for now, but I have never fine-tuned it. I just increased it. So there are all sorts of other settings. If you want to know specifically what XSS does and uh, the difference between that and XMS, uh, feel free to YouTube it you'll, or uh, to Google it. You'll find uh, all sorts of useful information as to exactly uh, um, what all those things do and which ones you should adjust. But then once you have readjusted those to some larger value, and then you can click uh, the build and clean button and it will now, you will again find your uh, file in the same location, but uh, um, it will run much faster. And I should warn you, every time you build, all other files, for instance, this chess pieces that I placed into the uh, distribution folder, uh, get deleted and just the two remain. And so now this, as long as you have Java, this is a double click open and run program. Um, and if you have a graphical user interface, it looks like a program. If you have uh, just uh, system out print line sort of stuff, it will uh, be uh, terminal uh, command prompt style. All right, so that's it. So this uh, hopefully was uh, useful to those programmers who wanted to distribute their products and share them with other people who have Java on their computers. All right, until next time, enjoy Java.